Lord Olin's daughter. A chieftain to the highlands bound cries, Boatman, do not tarry, and I'll give thee a silver pound to row us o'er the ferry. Now who be ye would cross Loch Gyle, this dark and stormy water? Oh, I'm the chief of Albus Isle, and this Lord Olin's daughter. And fast before her father's men, three days we fled together. For should he find us in the glen, my blood would stain the heather. His horsemen hard behind us ride. Should they our steps discover, then who will cheer my bonny bride when they have slain her lover? Outspoke the hardy Highland white. I'll go, my chief, I'm ready. It's not for your silver bright, but for your winsome lady. And by my word, the bonny bird in danger shall not tarry. So, though the waves are raging white, I'll row you o'er the ferry. By this, the storm grew louder pace, the water wraith was shrieking. And in the scowl of heaven, each face grew dark as they were speaking. But still, as wilder blew the wind, and as the night grew drearer, adown the glen rode armed men, their trampling sounded nearer. Oh, haste thee, haste, the lady cries, though tempest round us gather, I'll meet the raging of the skies, but not an angry father. The boat has left a stormy land, a stormy sea before her, when, oh, too strong for human hand, the tempest gathered o'er her. And still they rode amidst the roar of waters, fast prevailing. Lord Olin reached that fatal shore. His wrath was changed to wail. For so dismayed, through storm and shade, his child he did discover. One lovely hand she stretched for aid, and one was round her lover. Come back, come back, he cried in grief, across the stormy water, and I'll forgive your highland chief, my daughter, oh my daughter. Twas vain, the loud waves lashed the shore, return or aid preventing. The waters wild went o'er his child, and he was left lamenting.